Senoras y senores, what is going on? It is your boy El Parcero for the net of all things sports and culture here in the beautiful city of Philadelphia. Today, we got some porch talk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Porch talk today. And as you guys can tell, we are talking about the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, we've been busy all day today, you know, making some moves. Uh, stay tuned, guys. I got some good announcements coming out, uh, you know, especially for the Eagles season. We got some good things coming here from myself here. But uh, I wanted to talk about the Phillies here uh, today uh last night uh, they they got another win it was a solid win it was you know it was definitely uh, it was a feel good win to say the least uh, as you guys know sunday night the, the phillies fell to the atlanta braves 12 to 10 in a wild 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 game uh, we saw 22 runs on 28 hits it was an absolutely crazy game uh, but then on uh what, monday night the phillies got back to it and they got a nice little w in the first game of a four game series against the washington nationals and it was definitely something you love to see but before we get started guys and move forward do not forget guys to hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit that bell button for notifications as well sharing this video and the channel to help continue the growth of your favorite parcero I just want to represent those Philly sports fans that do not get the voice in Philadelphia, and I could use your guys' help to make that case there, guys. So, again, Phillies take game one of this four-game series against the Nats, winning 8-6. to six. Uh, this, this was an absolute great game. Uh, we weren't sure, again, we weren't sure what to expect from the Phillies' bats because they put up 10 runs the night before in a losing effort. So what were we going to see here against the Nats in game one? Ladies and gentlemen, we got something here. All right, so we saw the Phillies' um, uh, having a fishing hitting night first off I think I, I like to call Monday night in a fishing hitting night you know you're talking about the Phils getting eight runs off of seven hits you usually don't see that like you really don't see you see that too often where a team gets uh, more runs than they do hits but it was an efficient hitting night as I like to say um, and you know we what more importantly what we saw from the Phillies hitting is we saw something that we wanted to see you know, we've seen a lot of times this year, JT Real Muto and Bryce Harper carrying this lineup here, this batting lineup. And in this game, um, actually, for the past week, both of them, Bryce and JT, have been kind of cold, to be quite honest with you. They haven't been um, as deadly as they've been throughout the season. Um, but what you saw in this game was, you know, you saw finally guys step up. And if you can get contributions from other people, and it's not just JT and Bryce, you know, creating the runs for you this team's gonna be dangerous this team's gonna be really dangerous come playoff time um, but let's talk about some of these hitters that definitely stepped up here so uh, first off I want to talk about Jay Bruce who finally came back in his first game after injury he was on the DL for a little bit and thank God we got him back because we could use his big swing in this lineup and he truly brings that power in this lineup besides Bryce and JT he went two for four with the solo solo home run in the bottom of the second inning that was a, cr a crack of a home run to say the least great performance by Jay Bruce and we're, just, we're gonna need Jay's better leadership and his big bat going forward in the season here Gene Segura guys he is finally finally starting to get it and he is definitely you know getting his finding his strides with the Phillies like I even last season and up to, up until this point I really felt Gene Segura has not really fit in well uh, with the Philadelphia Phillies lineup here but I really do believe that in this game here he finally hit those strides and it's really good to see um, Gene went one for four uh, with three RBIs. He got a nice little double in the bottom of the fourth to clear the bases. The bases were loaded, and he cleared them with the, his double. He got three RBIs on the day. Uh, Gene, G Gene is is sorry if he listen. If we can get this production from Gene Segura, I didn't expect that. But damn, that's that, that even adds even more power to this to this uh, hitting lineup here. Um, he's even finding his place at second base. Like we know that he made the switch from from shortstop to third, and now third to second base. And uh, I like him at second base. He's making some plays there too. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> Gene Segura is starting to fit in in those red pinstripes in the Phillies uniform. Great to see. Alec Bone again continuing to settle in. You guys know I'm a, I'm huge on Alec Boom, and, and he, he he's a young guy. You, you don't usually expect too much from your youngsters, but guys, he's every now and then he's giving you some good production here. And from a young guy, you don't really expect much, but he's giving you something. In this game, he was only one for two. He hit the sacrifice fly in the bottom of the fourth to bring in Gene Segura, who was at third. And uh, he got an RBI off of that, and uh, it was a good performance by Alec Boom. He, 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 if he gets you a hit, and if he gets you an RBI, you take that. You definitely take that from Alec Boom for sure, guys. Uh, Reese Hoskins, man. Reese Hoskins, though? 
Reese Hoskins is on fire, guys. He is on fire, man. My, this, this guy has really been one of the key factors is why the Phillies have been so good over the last week. In this game, he went two for four with one home run, a, a double, three RBIs in total. Bringing his average right now, he's batting 260. We talked about it yesterday. He was 250. Now, after this performance, he's now at 260. He's getting back to that 300 hitter that we we want here in Philly. And again, if we can get that bat swinging, it's going to be so hard to stop that lineup, especially at the top when you're talking about McCutcheon. He didn't, McCutcheon didn't have a good game uh, on Monday night, but still, McCutcheon's been getting on base for the most part on the past past week. You get McCutcheon, Hoskins, Bryce, JT, you screwed. You definitely screwed. So good. Uh, I'm loving J uh, Reese Hoskins' form for uh, right now, and hopefully he can keep this up, especially in the playoffs. He's starting to look more like that 2017-2018 Reese Hoskins, and if that's the case, Everyone in the NL is screwed. All right, let's talk about our pitcher here. Spencer Howard got another start here. And ladies and gentlemen, Spencer Howard recorded his first win as a, as a Philadelphia Philly starting pitcher here. That's First off, that is an accomplishment on its own. Getting his first win in it what's now his fourth star, fourth star, I believe, with the Philadelphia Phillies. And he had a solid outing. He went five innings. He only allowed five hits, two earned runs, and he had four strikeouts. In the first inning, he had back-to-back -back strikeouts. It started off. He's, he's looking more comfortable, and it's going to be really dangerous. And again, the same thing with Alec Bohm and a lot of young players in, in Philly sports in general. Like, you don't expect much from your rookies or your, your, your you know, your young players. But once once they start getting, if they, they give you anything, then you're really happy. Same thing with Alec Bohm. I mean, we can even take it to the other sports. You know, it's the same thing with a Joel Farabee, a Carter Hart, or or even a Matisse Thibel. Uh, Brandon, uh, Brandon Aronson is, is starting to get past that point because we know Brandon Aronson is really good but you know and it's unfortunately you know on, in the NFL it's different with football because if you're a rookie and you could play you're expected to play and so I think you know you're going to see that with Jalen Rager Eagles fans and Eagles media in general are going to expect a lot from Jalen Rager so it's not going to be the same thing but oh back to the Phillies we're talking Phillies baseball here he is giving you something and he is completing this rotation for sure, guys. You know, we talked about it yesterday, too. We'll still see what Jake Arrieta... I'm still not giving up on Jake Arrieta. We'll see what he does in that next start. But you're talking about Noah Wheeler. Uh, Eflin's giving you something, too. And hopefully Arrieta can find his way. And Spencer Howard can just continuously putting those, building those blocks together and contribute for you. This is a solid rotation. And I'm absolutely going to love this rotation, to say the least, guys. Now, as far as the rest of the pitching goes, though, guys... I have some I have some reservations here as far as our bullpen goes. Now they definitely have been performing a lot, a lot better, but Heath Embry and Brandon Workman not sold yet. Not I'm gonna be honest, I am not sold in this game alone. So as so Spencer Howard obviously pitched only five innings. Um, we saw it was four pitchers. Uh, each pitcher got an inning in. Um, and Embry and Workman really did not impress. Both of them combined for four hits and four earned runs. And honestly, first off, with, with, with Brandon Workman, he has not solidified that closing role, in my, in my honest opinion. And it, it, I think that we cannot sleep on Hector Neris. The thing with Hector Neris is I like what he, do, what he brings to the table, but once he relies too much on the slider, that's when he's screwed because teams know already coming up to the bat that Naris is going to give you that slider so you know what to expect, and that's when Naris gets in, gets in those those troubles that we've seen in the past. But in that last on the last game that we saw him in Atlanta, he's starting to throw the the fastball a little bit more than the slider. So if he can if he can just add a couple more pitches, then why not just keep Hector Naris at the closer? So that's something that we're going to keep an eye out. But Brandon Workman and Heath Emperor need to step it up for sure. Um, uh, uh, J J J Romero, who you guys know, I'm a huge fan of. I'm, I'm big on him. And Tommy Hunter, they both continue to impress. No earned runs on their parts. They did their job. Romero needs needs some more pitching time. I'm, Joe Girardi, give this man some more pitches on the mound because he can he can help you. He can help you at the bullpen for sure, guys. So guys, game two is tonight, 7:05. Washington Nationals in the Philadelphia Phillies at Citizens Bank Park. Aaron Nola is going to go up against Patrick Corbin. It is Nola Day here in Philadelphia, ladies and gentlemen. You already know what it is when it's Aaron Nola Day in Philly. And Patrick Corbin, he's a solid pitcher. So this is going to be a good pitching duel. But come on, guys. You know I got Aaron Nola here tonight. Aaron's going to come out. 
He's going to be throwing that heat on the mound tonight as a starter, and I'm going to be really excited. And I'm, I, I hope the Phillies can continue winning. We are at 500. We're still at 500. Let's get over 500, please. Let's get over 500. It is time for the Phillies to start making the run here for the postseason. Let's go, guys. Guys, in the comments below, let's continue talking about the Phillies. Let me know what your takeaways were in this game here against the, L against the Washington Nationals. Let's talk Phillies baseball in the comments below. I want, to keep, I want to open the dialogue for sure. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have watched up to this point, do not forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button for notifications, as well as sharing this video and this channel. Again, I just want to represent those Philly sports fans that do not get their voice heard. And I can use your guys' help so they can get heard as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name of El Parcero Philly, and I'm telling you guys, ring that damn bell. Ring that thing. Talk to you soon, guys.